here are the 21 basic and important questions about cleaning validation in pharmaceutical industry subscribe to channel for more informative content we will start this series of questions with very basic one what is cleaning validation as per pds technical report number 49 cleaning validation demonstrates or cleaning validation is the procedure to ensure that cleaning process adequately and consistently removes product residues process residues and environmental contaminants from the cleaned equipment or system next important question when we should perform cleaning validation answer of this question is cleaning validation should be conducted for the initial qualification of manufacturing process or equipment further periodically cleaning verification shall be done in case of major change in the cleaning procedure or equipment or equipment train we should perform cleaning validation next very frequently asked question which guidelines are referred for cleaning validation here six majorly referred guidelines are mentioned you can pause this presentation here and note it down first one is usfda's guidance for cleaning processes second ems guidance for cleaning validation third who's guidance on cleaning validation fourth pics guideline and fifth and sixth are pds technical report number 29 and 49 Next important question, what is term MSO commonly called MACO, NOEL and PDE used in cleaning validation? Answer is MACO is maximum allowable carryover, NOEL is amount of a drug in MG that does not have any effect on the human health and PDE is permitted daily exposure of the active in the clean product in micrograms that is MCG. Next very frequently asked question what is formula for macro calculation you can see a formula for macro calculation on the screen it is a multiplication of three factors first one is td which is a single therapeutic dose second is bs that is the batch size of the next product to be manufactured in the same equipment and third factor is the safety factor this multiplication is then divided by the LDD value which is the largest daily dose of the next product to be manufactured in the same equipment. Next very frequently asked question is why three cleaning cycles are considered during cleaning validation run. Answer of this question is consecutive three cleaning cycles data gives enough statistical information to conclude on the repeatability of results. One or two batches data may found insufficient and Obtaining data from more batches probably will give repetitive results. Additionally, PDA that is an International Association for Pharmaceutical Science and Technology in technical report number 29 suggests to take three consecutive cleaning cycles run during cleaning validation. Next important question what is dirty hole time? The dirty hole time is a cleaning process challenge that is defined as the time from the end of manufacture until the beginning of the wet cleaning process. This dirty hole time shall be specified in cleaning validation protocol of the product or group of products. Next important question what is clean hole time? The clean hole time is defined as the time from the end of the validated cleaning process until the beginning of use of that equipment for manufacture of product. This clean hold time may be performed as a part of the cleaning process validation protocol or may be performed as a standalone protocol. Next important question which hold times shall be validated during cleaning validation? As per PDA, the maximum allowable hold time for a piece of equipment shall be validated for following three cases. First case, after use before cleaning, which is dirty hold. Second is after cleaning before reuse or re-cleaning which is a clean hold and third case is if appropriate after cleaning before sanitation should be validated. Next important question what are the commonly used sampling techniques during cleaning validation? Answer is rinse sampling and swab or wipe sampling are the most commonly used sampling techniques during cleaning validation. Along with these two techniques, other techniques used are coupon sampling, solvent sampling, placebo sampling and product sampling. Next question, what you should do first, rinse or swab if you are doing both? Answer is, it is advisable to perform final rinse before swab sampling so 
no interference from the swab sampling could affect the range sample. Next important question what are the advantages and limitations of range sampling? There are many advantages of range sampling out of which three are mentioned here. First one is this technique is very easy to sample. Secondly, this is a less technique dependent than swab sampling and third it allows sampling of large surface areas. It has some disadvantages like in some cases it lowers the test sensitivity. Inability to detect location of residues is its one of the disadvantage and third rinse volume is critical to ensure accurate interpretation of results. Next question what are the basic requirements for rinse sampling? Basic requirements for rinse sampling are rinse solvent should dissolve the target residue. Second requirement is rinse solvent should reach all product contact surface areas and third requirement is surfaces should be rinsed to ensure complete coverage of equipment surface and sufficient removal of target residues. Next question what are the advantages and limitations of swab sampling? Three major advantages of swab sampling are first it dissolves and physically removes sample second this technique is adaptable to wide variety of surfaces and third this technique is economical and widely available whereas it has some disadvantages like this technique may introduce fibers into the sample second this is a technique dependent and results may vary based on the technique applied third disadvantage is swab material and design may inhibit recovery and specificity of the method and fourth disadvantage is evaluation of large complex and hard to reach areas is difficult with sap sampling technique important question which key parameters shall be considered for preparation of risk assessment for cleaning validation answer is below are the five key parameters that needs to be considered for risk assessment first one is identification of the possible location of residue reposition second sequence of cleaning procedure to be followed third important steps which needs supervision fourth type of sampling aids and fifth one is the selection of tool required to clean next question is what is equipment grouping and product grouping in equipment grouping identical or similar equipment can be grouped equipment grouping can be done through scientific rationale that equipment having same design and construction can be grouped for validation purpose this may reduce the total number of validation runs necessary to demonstrate consistency of cleaning process and in case of product grouping products may be grouped if they are cleaned by the same cleaning process product grouping can be done considering the solubility ade or pd levels and cleanability Next question what are the CIP systems CIP systems are clean in place systems and this refers to an automated system which can be a single pass or a recirculatory system CIP system generally utilizes a spraying device to provide coverage and physical spraying on equipment surface examples are manufacturing tanks blenders fluid bed dryers reactors and fermentation tanks Next question which study shall be performed for cleaning agents during cleaning validation answer is during the cleaning validation cycle the quantities of cleaning agents their concentration and their addition rate must be studied methods for storage expiration dating inventory control shall be covered during cleaning validation Next question why TOC testing is done during cleaning validation Answer of this question is the total organic carbon or TOC test is fast and effective analytical technique to evaluate the cleaning of manufacturing equipment. This technique can help to ensure that the cleaning processes meet the predetermined acceptance criteria. Increase the presence of total organic carbon in sample directly indicates presence of large molecular weight compounds that is inadequate cleaning. Next question what are the non specific analytical tests for cleaning verification There are five majorly used non specific analytical tests for cleaning verification these are TOC that is total organic carbon second pH third titration fourth conductivity and fifth is gravimetric analysis
लास्ट एंड इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हाउ वी कैन एनहांस ट्रेनिंग प्रैक्टिसेस ऑफ क्लीनिंग प्रोसीजर हे आर द फाइव टूल्स ऑफ द टेक्निक्स गिवन विथ विच वी कैन एनहांस ट्रेनिंग प्रैक्टिसेस ऑफ क्लीनिंग प्रोसीजर फर्स्ट वी कैन यूज चेकलिस्ट टू डिटरमाइन दैट ऑल ऑपरेशन आर कैरिड आउट इन अ प्रॉपर सिक्वेंस एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेड सेकेंडली वी कैन डू पीरियडिक मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ क्लीनिंग प्रोसीजर थर्ड वी कैन यूज डेडिकेटेड और असाइन क्लीनिंग पर्सनल फोर्थ वी कैन टेक फीडबैक फ्रॉम ऑपरेटर्स टू मॉडिफाई प्रोसीजर्स एंड लास्ट वन वी कैन यूज वीडियो टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट प्रॉपर क्लीनिंग ऑपरेशन टेक्निक कीप वॉचिंग फार्म ग्रोथ सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू आवर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री